hello folks and welcome to this video um i hope you like the little uh cinematics i've done there in the garden i don't know what come over me just thought i'd showcase this monitor before i tell you all about it uh basically it was a purchase off ebay um and it was listed as broken um the guy had placed the fly back and said he was still having trouble with it so um, local pickup, thirty pounds. No brainer. I thought I'll have a, uh, I'll have to give this a go. So um, anyway, uh, the video was filmed in a mate's garage, just mainly for more space. Um, and basically, yeah, this is this is what happened. Right, just before we start. I thought I would show you the listing just in case anyone was thinking this is made up um, so there's the monitor that was his problem the weird lines on the screen after replacing the flyback um, so for parts are not working so for 30 pounds uh, location St Helens um, I'm only about 15 miles away from St Helens so that was a, a no-brainer for me um, and that was the description of the fault. So basically, yeah, uh, it's made a high pitch whistle. Um, he's replaced the flyback, and he's not sure if the wrong flyback was fitted. Sold the spares, just wants a £30 back. Collection only due to weight. Uh, located St. Helens. Uh, happy days. Hello, folks. Welcome to this video. Now, today is hopefully a quick fix of the Philips CM8833 Mark II. Now, I bought it on eBay for £30. The guy said he's replaced the transformer, but he's still getting some sort of lines on the screen. Now, I've had a quick look at it, because um, obviously I didn't have a cable to test it. So I've turned it on and I've got rid of the lines, but basically what I've what I've done is I've just give it a good clean and it was just absolutely minging inside. So I'll put some pictures up of what it was like when I bought it. Really <clears throat> the outside of it was quite clean. A couple of knocks as per usual, but inside it was just like brown and it stunk of tobacco. So maybe it's tobacco on the inside and, and just smoke and the fella's been like wiping it from the outside or something but oh my god it was it was minging um, I can still smell a little bit of electric as I like to call it um, I've had a look around the board I'm no expert now I've done three of these three flybacks and that's all I've done um, as I say hopefully this one is an easy fix so all I've done really is just take the main board out, give it a good clean up. I took the screen out, I've cleaned all the case up, I've cleaned all this up best I can. Um, so I'm kind of hoping and praying that the guy hasn't adjusted the pots in here. There's two pots, one for screen, one for focus. Um, as I say, I haven't tested it properly, so this is literally the first test. I've got an Amiga alongside me. I've got a cable from Amiga kit, so let's crack on. So what I'll do first is I will secure the screen. There's four screws, one at either corner. I'll plug in whatever this little thing is that goes around. The, the front of the screen. I've got a clue what it is. It's like some sort of. Where is it? Let's have a look. Like bandon. I don't know what it is, but that needs plugging back in. Um. And then I'll just connect all of these wires back up. Put the back plate for the motherboard back on. And I'm going to turn it on, and see if I can get a picture. I'm no expert on these, and uh, if you're not confident 
in opening one of these and taking it apart and, and have a look around, mess around with it. Don't. Because if you touch something that you shouldn't and it's still charged, or it still holds a charge, um, you're gonna get a nasty belt. Uh, touch wood, to this day, I haven't had one, but I've come close. Um, they do hold a very nasty charge. So, just looking on YouTube videos, just reading up on how they work and stuff, I, I decided years ago to actually open my first broken one, uh, replace the flyback, and I successfully um, fixed it. So hopefully, um, this will be another one that's just a real easy. The, 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 the hard work is already been done, this has already been replaced. So I don't have to go and desolder it and solder that one, clean it all up. Um, it'll hopefully just be a case of uh, adjusting the pots inside, there's just two of them. So, uh, let's see. Now I'll post up some hyperlapse video that I recorded. Basically it was just cleaning the motherboard up um, with some methylated spirits, air duster and just getting the dust out of it and just checking over things. So um, I'll whack this, I'll whack this up now. Right, so this little square thing's back in now. It's gonna get plugged back in. So only messing somewhere up here. Um, I just had to take a break because I'm in my mate's shed and it is just roasting. So I'm dripping sweat all over the place. Not good. So yeah, I'm gonna pop this back in where it should go. I am gonna plug the screen or the tube into the motherboard. And um, take it from there. See you in a minute. Right, so that's the screen plug there, as you can see, plugged into the motherboard. The screen square thing, whatever that is, that's plugged in. Um, next, I will put the back plate on for the motherboard, secure that. Um, I'll leave the speakers to last and I'll plug it in, see if we can get a picture. Now that's the back plate secured, or the bottom of the monitor if you want to call it. Um, as I say, the only thing I've got to connect up now is the speakers and the power LED. I'll do that in a bit. So now this is the very interesting bit um, and I say interesting because um, I usually adjust the pots while it's turned on um, I will probably hang it over the table slightly so I can keep an eye on the screen power it up plug an Amiga into it and I will use a very long cable tie now these pots are quite sensitive so they do turn quite easy now I would rather put that in there and adjust it while it's on than say something like that wouldn't you and it reaches very nicely I'm not in in any way of any electrics um, and touch wood I have never had a belt off one of these so um, I'm going to just take a short break because I'm knackered and I'm going to turn it on and see if I can get a picture. See you in a bit. And just before I go any further with this, I thought I'll show you these pots and how easy it is to turn them. I don't know how this is going to turn out. By the way, this isn't turned on. So you just turn quite easily. That's all you need. So I'm going to power this thing up. And I'm going to attempt it with my little cable tie. So this is now powered on. 
fully immersed in all its electricity. Now I'm just going to take a look at what the screen's doing. I don't know what it will look like on the camera. I think the refresh rate may disrupt the camera. You know what CRTs are like with modern cameras. So the, it, it actually looks worse than what it is, but it's got some like like lines and just flickering. So I'm going to see if I can sort this out while it's turned on. So enter my trusty Amiga 600 in all its 40 meg hard drive glory. Um, a cable from Amiga kit, which is uh, for this type of monitor. So I'm going to power the monitor on, power the Amiga on, see what I get on the screen and adjust the pots accordingly. Hopefully that will be all that's wrong with this monitor. Just got a little glimpse of something on the screen there. Like <clears throat> some now just in the pots. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting something. Got something, I think. Oh yes, I've got something. Yeah, I've got something on screen there. It's looking good. It's flickered away like mad, but it's actually does not on, not on the screen at all. It's just nice, nice picture. Now, we we'll come round the back and start adjusting these things. I'm getting zapped. That moves it up and down, that moves it full screen, and that one gives it another little happy days. So as you can see, nice. Obviously we'll need to do the front as well, so I'll have to put the knobs back on. But yeah. Looking good so far. I shall report back in a minute. A couple of adjustments later, I have finally got, although you can't see it on the screen, a lovely crisp in focus picture. Still needs a little bit of adjustment this way, but I'll do that from down there. But yeah. My successful fix. Um, let's see, it was that top one, the focus one, which is what got me to um, get the nice picture. You can't whack a good CRT. So I shall now switch this thing off and adjust the front. I'll do it now, but I haven't got these on. As you can see, they need to go in there. So I shall report back in a little while. 
And after some minor adjustments, she's alive. You can't really see, but the picture is absolutely amazing. So that's all that needed, just the pots doing, and that's it. So I now have a nice working CM8833 Mark II monitor. Speakers are being plugged in, sounds good, picture's good, pots are good, flyback's good. It's all good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, lads. Right, folks, and as you can see, it's up and running. Uh, Burn and rubber. The intro, I'm afraid, is the best part about that game, so um, it's flickering, but you get the general idea um, the power switch is still good at the moment but I have got a replacement just in case it goes as we all know you know they, they go over time so yeah there you have it uh, thanks for watching and you know hopefully I'll see you in the next video enjoy <laughs>